So gameplay wise, the tornadoes are basically these colliders um, and they are sort of the, the change over time element of Giant's Deep. These aren't like scripted to happen in a specific way. They're just these objects that are spawned and they sort of follow a randomized path. Um, and to get the visuals to match, you know, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of like natural phenomena. I love looking at weather stuff and I really wanted these tornadoes to feel like tornadoes instead of just being these like awkward columns. Um, but because it's out of wilds and, you know, you actually get sucked up by the tornado, we couldn't just do like some fancy, you know, particle effect or something that's actually had to resolve when you're inside of it. Um, so we ended up tackling it with sort of a multi-pronged approach. Um, the body of the tornado is a skinned mesh. Uh, so I just grab that. Um, so it uses skinned mesh renderer and essentially it's rigged with a three joint uh, rig. Um, so the middle, the top, and the bottom are all separate joints. And so when we move it, you know, it deforms. Mm -hmm. And this is how we sort of get the, uh, you know, the twister type shapes, right? Where you get the cool S shape yeah. uh, and the one in the middle. Uh, so these are like on a script that moves them around randomly. And the one in the middle also rotates a bit randomly, which helps it to look a lot more natural. Um, they also scale a little bit, you know, so sometimes you get the, the really pointy tornado shapes and stuff like that. Um, and that's all stuff that's controlled by a script where we set up all the possible varieties. Does it um, also communicate with the gravity alignment tool? In some um, way? Yeah, so these it's these are like handled more uh, behind the scenes, um, but they do, you know, they align themselves to gravity because they're they're capsules, essentially, yeah. physics wise. Um, so the the other thing about the skin to mesh render is we wanted to have vertex movements that it sort of feels like churning wind. Uh, and the way we do that is with vertex color. Um, we heavily use vertex color throughout the game. Um, it's really like a cheap way to get some cool effects. And so this shader basically takes, um, similar to the ocean, it like takes verts and wiggles them around. Um, but instead of using a height map, um, it uses the vertex color. And so I, I went in and hand selected each loop of verts here uh, and gave them a random vertex color so that um, what you get is, when I go back to the shaded view, you can see that each of those sort of hula hoops of vertex color is like churning slightly differently. And that's what creates that roiling surface feel. Okay, nice. So it's like, a, like a, some kind of like scrolling vertex texture kind of thing. Yeah, I can show the uh, the shader really quick. Um, so it's got, you know, some scrolling textures on it that just sort of give it like a uh, surface movement. It's easier to see if I turn off the lighting. There we go. Um, you can just see it sort of spiraling around. Um, and then, yeah, it's got some alpha so that we can blend it better with these sort of like skirt meshes at the top and the bottom. Um, and these are separate meshes that are hooked up to the same rig, but they like rotate on one axis so that they, you know, don't overlap as much and don't look very tidy. Uh, and then, back to this. Uh, it's got a normal map and then um, it's also uh, translucent, um, which is the same as the clouds. So we have this system that spawns lightning on the planet. And so when the lightning spawns in, you know, it sort of transmits through all the, the tornadoes in the clouds and feels oh, more yeah. natural. Yeah. 